from San Bernardino Shelter, and after two days, we noticed uh, a severe cough, running yellow discharge, and uh, we brought him to Dr. Schwartz right away. We got him, and he hadn't eaten for like uh, eight days in a row. We started treating him and started force feeding him, giving him the regular treatment, antibiotics and fluids, and we really didn't see much uh, improvement. And then we started him on PVX, this antiviral medicine that uh, we had used previously in some other cases, and it had worked great. And then we we had uh, an extra bottle, so we started him up, and within three days he was he was a new dog, he was wagging his tail and jumping up and eating and it was just, it was remarkable. Of course I was extremely skeptical and I think I told Rachel that she was out of her mind. <laughs> but she researched you guys, so we tried it and it's been remarkable. We, we had, we've used it on three or four or five cases and four out of five I think it is are cured. Some of them were projectile vomiting with diarrhea, and but normally you get the, the major cough and stuff. He has and the one that started uh, neurological, and um, his name is Cooper. That's and right. I still see him all the time. He's and he doesn't have the neurological AGG. signs? He's a completely normal, happy dog, and he was the one we were worried about the most. He's happy and healthy, and he's been adopted, and he's just doing great. They're so uh, happy that they've been saved, and so... Um, loyal to their owners for that. There's a huge need for that, of course, for distemper and parvovirus and hepatitis and kennel cough, and, and it works in cats. Distemper in cats, leukemia, these are huge viral diseases that uh, have stymied vets for forever.